Islam propagates coming together but coming together on what? on a correct foundation not to just come together based on anything huh? the Sharia wants unity that is with truth some Muslims have misunderstood this what did they think? any kind of unity is praiseworthy doesn't matter as long as our words is together as long as our line were together as long as we're united as long as we're together that's praiseworthy and that is jahl of the nusus al wa'in. that is ignorance of the textual evidence it's a person who does not know the quran nor the sunnah does that make sense because because if unity unity is praiseworthy on any ground it doesn't matter what it is as long as there's unity if that is praiseworthy then the Prophet would never have said to the Khawarij I will kill them wherever I find them are they not Muslims? are they not Muslims? the Prophet وسلم, he said if I see the Khawarij and I meet the Khawarij and I come to contact with the Khawarij I will kill them the killing of who? Ad. So what did the Prophet tell us here? That the unity has to be based upon what? Truth. And it has to be upon the Haqq. That's when the unity is praiseworthy. But if everybody holds hands and they're together just for the mere fact of unity. So you see a person who is a Diobandi. You find a person who is a Brilwi. You find a person who is a Shi'i Rafidi. You find another person who's claiming he's Ahlul Hadith, Salafi, all together holding hands and they believe that this is what Allah wants, then this is ignorance of the Sharia. Because Allah says, <coughs> hold on to. Bihablillah. Brothers and sisters, Allah mentioned what to hold on to before unity. He said, وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا came after what you need to hold on to. Hold on together the rope of Allah. Together. وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And do not what? Some people just say, don't differ. No. Don't differ on holding on to that rope. Whilst you're all holding on to the rope, the kitab and the sunnah, and you're understanding both of them, unite. Are you holding the kitab and the sunnah and you're understanding the base and sahabas? Then why are you different with your brother who's doing the same? Does that make sense? This is now when the problem occurs. Like in, I'm holding on to the kitab and the sunnah, and another person is telling, telling me here, I don't take singular narrations and aqeedah, meaning I partially take the uh, uh, hadith of the Prophet and the sunnah. I take part of the hadith. And you say, like, you hold hands with them? Right? And guess what? Those people will never come together. Wallahi, they will never come together. And they will only waste their time and waste the time of the Muslims. Huh? They will never come together. Rather, this goes against the ijma' that the ulama transmitted. Brothers and sisters, is very important. The consensus that the scholars transmitted, like Al-Imam Al-Qurtubi, and Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, and Al-Imam Al-Baghawi, rahimahullah, in his kitab, Shaykh Al-Sunnah, all of them, they transmitted consensus that when it comes to the innovators, that we need to stay away from them. That we should stay away from the innovators, ijma' وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعْهُمْ حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثِ الْغَيْرِ إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا مِثْلُهُمْ If you see those who are mocking and they are playing around with the verses of Allah like the innovators do, mocking the nusus al wahiyin mocking the religion فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعْهُمْ Don't sit with them. If I'm not allowed to sit with them, can I work with them? Allah says don't until they repent from this falsehood that they are upon and this uh, ignorance that they are upon if I work with them now after this 
and I hold hands with them, what would happen? Innakum ila mithluhum. You are like them now. You and them are the same. You are now on their side. The Prophet recited the ayah, وَالَّذِي أَنزَلَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْهُ آيَاتٌ مُحْكَمَاتٌ هُنَّ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ وَأُخَرٌ مُتَشَابِهَاتٌ فَمَا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ زَيْغٌ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ مَا تَشَابَهَ مِنْهُ بِتِغَاءَ الْفِتْنَةِ وَبِتِغَاءَ تَمْ وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَأْوِيلَهُ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَالرَّاسِقُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ آمَنَّا بِي كُلُّ مِنْ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا وَمَا يَذَّكَرُ إِلَّا أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ This verse the Prophet recited it and he spoke to his wife Aisha He says أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ سَمَّ اللَّهِ وَإِذَا رَأَيْتَ الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ مَا تَشَابَهُ Aisha If you see those people who are following the ambiguous verses the unclear verses like the Ashaira like the Sufiya they follow ambiguous verses. If you see them, people whose belief is based upon ambiguous verses, they are the ones who Allah is telling you in this verse. فَحْذَرُوهُمْ Be cautious of them. How can I work with them? I should be warned against them. فَحْذَرُوهُمْ Be cautious. Be cautious. Stay away from them. Don't get close to them. And they're saying to you, hold hands with them. Unite with them. Aisha is more knowledgeable than you in the religion. Her faith was more stronger than you. Ma'adalika, she's told to stay away from them. Your religion is less. Your deen is less. Your understanding of the uh, deen is less. So this concept of holding hands and uniting by all means necessary, it doesn't matter. We will work with each other on what we agree upon. And we will excuse each other on what we differ upon. Is a qa'ida shaytaniyya ma anzal Allah biha min sultan. It's a satanic principle. It has only brought about facade for the Muslims. And guess what it's done? It has actually destroyed Tawheed and its symbols. Any brother I've ever seen who has become soft, smooth, huh? holding hands with innovators, I saw that he does not take serious the symbols of Islam. Wallahi, he will mock the religion. Where did he take this from? Ya ikhwa, we know brothers who when they went to weddings, 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 they would read Qur'an. Weddings, they would read Qur'an. Their beards, their sunnah, their thobes, their garments, the way it was high and everything. What did they become at the after, at the after that? Yeah? Wallahi, they were doing istiza of the sunnah. When they see you, they'll say to you, Ya akhi, you think the solution of the Muslims is connected to the miswaq, huh? Inna lillahi wa inna ilaha where did they get this from? When they started to take on these principles, huh? they started to mock the nusus. So the truth of the matter is, this mas'ala is ijma'ah. Ijma'ah. That a believer who understands the kitab, who understands the sunnah, who knows the Prophet's positions, will know working with these mubtadi'ah and ahlul bid'ah, ya akhi, it only destroys Islam. Wallahi, it does.